power chef Pranav caught this fish. This is Rupchand, which we actually grow in our pond. We grow uh, fresh morel and also we have basa and all that. So this fish is more than like two and a half kg fish. cut it, he filleted it, some of the best pieces are kept, some we are going to cook with yellow cucumber. So the fish along with this cucumber is again very traditional uh, at our homes, in villages we do. This becomes very very tasty. So for making this, we are going to add some oil in a pan. Rupchand is also a very fatty fish, so some of the oil will come out. Actually we have to <laughs> remove some of the fat and we have to feed our ducks. Now here. When the oil is hot, add uh, mustard seeds, red chilli, fenugreek seeds and some cumin seeds. In this, add curry leaf. And now, you can add onions and cook. Or else you can make the onion and green chilli paste. And we are going to cook this. The reason we made a paste is, the gravy, we want it nice and uh, silky sauce. By making the paste that will help you have that kind of gravy. In this, we are going to add turmeric, ginger garlic paste. Now, cook this in the oil for at least 4-5 uh, minutes till some of the oil starts oozing out from this. This curry, we are going to cook it for a little longer time, around 20 minutes. So even if some of the onion paste is raw, it will get cooked in that time. Fish, we are going to add it in the end. Once the gravy is nice, this is going to be very spicy and also we have a beautiful thickening that is cuscus and coconut paste. This is again, you know, we love with a lot of our gravies. You can add sesame seed, you can add a little bit of cashew nut also to make your gravy. But this one, let it cook till some of the oil comes out. After around 5 minutes of cooking, we are going to add chilli powder. I told you, no, this is going to be really spicy one. So a lot of chilli powder. Coriander powder, a little bit of garam masala, and in this we are going to add water. And also in this add some coconut and cuscus powder. I have some, you know, cashew paste also left. You can also add to this. That will also become nice gravy. Now increase the flame, and also add tamarind juice. So this is the sarnas for our fish today. Add the yellow cucumber. This is going to take around 12 minutes to cook. And uh, in the tamarind juice, the vegetables take a little longer time. So let this cook right now. And fish, anyway, you won't cook more than 4-5 minutes. So we're going to add the fish in the last. When you have a very nice gravy ready. And uh, the gravy has to taste good. Only then add fish. Add a little extra salt in the gravy when you add the fish. The salt, everything will adjust and we could. Almost 14-15 minutes of cooking. The yellow cucumber with the skin on and add salt. Now in this, add the fish pieces. I told you, this is uh, Rupchand. Lot fatty fish, so add the pieces. And uh, not more than 4-5 minutes of cooking. That should be good enough. We fillet the fish, which we are going to make another recipe. But with all these other pieces, this gravy should be good. Let it cook for 4-5 minutes, then we are going to check the taste. Adjust the seasoning in the last, the salt, and that should be perfect. After 4 minutes of cooking, I added salt. In this add, lot of coriander leaf. This will give very good taste. And now, I am going to simmer it for another 2 minutes. And the fish curry is all ready. Wow, this looks good. Don't mix it too much. Just reduce the flame and let it simmer. Fish curry, you know, everybody is going to enjoy it. You know, fish fry, what I do is, whenever I have a lot of fish, I cut into dance, I marinate it and then put it in a clean wrap like this and put it in the fridge. You can even freeze it. So, whenever you want to eat, just pull it out. But the pan is thin and a thick piece like this will not cook well. That means 
it will be burnt from outside, inside it will not be cooked. So the technique what I use, banana leaf technique. So here, just put the fish piece on the pan and let it cook till it get color. Trust me, the fish will not be cooked inside. I'm going to turn it to the other side, do the same thing. Then I'm going to put a banana leaf and fold it and I'm going to let the fish cook in there. Moisture will be able to escape at the same time the fish will be perfectly done. Once the fish is cooked on one side, turn it to the other side. This is how much color I want and uh, let it get the color. Meanwhile, you can put the banana leaf here. When the fish piece gets colored on the other side, just transfer it onto a banana leaf. Cover it up, put the lid on and let it cook 3-4 minutes on one side, turn to the other side another 3-4 minutes. That's when fish will be cooked perfect and you have the coloring as well as well cooked inside and you will love it. You know, a lot of people claim that awesome flavor comes from the banana leaf, maybe a little bit, but this way fish, you will never burn it and always you get a perfect piece of fish. You can check the piece of fish, perfectly cooked and intact. This way you will get a perfect fish fry every time. Now pieces of fish uh -huh. and the yellow cucumber also. The best part is the gravy. I deliberately made the gravy slightly thicker. So it's very good on bed of rice. That should be good enough. For me, rest for our staff, fish curry and fish fry. Just love this. Friends, I'm going to enjoy it with a bowl of rice, but the gravy, my goodness, it's too good. Along with that yellow cucumber. Divine. Make it a little bit spicy. Fish fry. Wow. This is too good, friends. Eat best of the best food every day. Enjoy life to the fullest.